If we are still friends after this, then I think we are good friends. <laughs> East Coast, West Coast, there's jungles, there's nature reserves, there's beaches, like, you know, it kind of has it all, so it's gonna be a pretty jam-packed week. Never done anything like this ever, so this is like totally out of my comfort zone. Embracing it, so we'll see what happens. It's such an incredible country, and it's such an incredible way to see it. I wouldn't do it any other way. Holy shit, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> run away, run away. This is my first time I've never driven anything standard, so I sucked. But I feel like I've come a long way. You got it! <laughs> We've got everything to make our little home away from home. <laughs> This is a completely unsupported adventure. There is no route. I have no idea who's going where. It's going to be really chaotic. Sri Lanka is go! There's no doors on the side of these things. It's just the air comes in, you're just kind of cruising. Yeah, it really fits my style of life. <laughs> <laughs> Shaky, wobbly, unstable. Small, unstable. Small. Very small. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just thinking, ah, stop. Did you pee your pants a little? <laughs> You've got to accept being dirty. You've got to accept being tired. You have to accept being wet and also be willing and ready to enjoy a simpler life. You go to like small towns and villages that you would normally never go to on a trip. Do back roads, stop at little places, stop at a little food stall, go to a little like temple you find. Driving down back roads and stumbled upon a family of elephants. Beautiful! We made it! It's the best way to experience the country. Woo! Just scored a police escort to find our road. We gotta organize how to uh, get it back to Australia now. <laughs>